Deanna Barnes and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on essential trade signs. This is mainly aimed towards members of my server Hooky. So we're going to jump straight into it. Right, so trade signs. Um, this is how a trade sign will look or it could look like this depending on the item that you're putting, on, putting in. So first line is the title of the sign, which is a trade sign. Um, the second line is the cost of your the item that you're trading. So whatever you whatever item you're wanting in return for what you're trading. And the third line is the item that you're trading. The bottom line it will automatically put your name at bottom, so you do not need to put this on. Um, for this sign, it's I'm I'm wanting three diamonds for one chain helmet and as you can see this last number on end is how many chain helmets I've put into this sign so if I right click on the sign now with the item in my hand it will turn that number five into a number six and it's the item storing that for me as you see I can't click on it again to put all else in even though uh, chain helmets are in my inventory because it's not in my hand when you click right click a sign without anything in your inventory it's you'll be withdrawing what people have paid into it so it, it basically acts like a chest but there's only you that can stock that sign and only you that can take out your earnings so if I if I were to right click on it with diamonds, it's not going to do no. I can't buy from me on sign, but anybody else will be able to. And so we'll get into it. So bear in mind, all these signs I'm going to show you are actually all going to be on one single sign. I'm just showing you step by step what you have to put on first line and second line, etc. So first line it'd be you put your bracket trade bracket because it's a trade sign. The second line down you'll put the item that you're wanting so in my case it's three diamonds because 264 is the item ID number if I open my inventory and show you if you see that pop up it says 264 that's the item ID number and on the third line on the third line I've done this back to front but it should still work on the third line you type in the amount that your amount that you gain for three diamonds or whatever you, the price you set it at in my case I'm wanting three diamonds for one uh, chain helmet so for this sign I'll put one at end here and just copy that one just to show you how it works so we put bracket trade bracket close it and then the amount that you're wanting which is for me it's three then the item ID number which like I said 264 is the diamond ID and then press enter and then the amount that you're selling where in my case it's one chain helmet and then you put one space or the amount and then space and then the item ID number which is 302 and then if you put on and then however many of the item you've got in your inventory for me I've got three but for now I will just do two and it should take once I click done that's all you need to do on sign leave the bottom line empty because it will automatically put your name on it and that sign will then get locked to you so nobody can take things out or put alt in and then when you click done it should do it like that so it took two of them out of my inventory to chain helmets and now if I get that chain helmet and right click on it it's put it into into sign now if I break that sign I will get my items back so I broke it and if you see me inventory I got my three chain helmets back it'll always gear whatever items you've left in it if you want to change your sign over time or whatever but this the summit that's slightly hard to understand it's took me ages to figure out which is using item ID numbers with data values for example a good one is your dies if you go to page where all your dies are then if you see on this pop up 
the cyan dye is 351 forward slash 6 and then if I go on to gray, light grey dye it's 351 forward slash 7. Some items, especially things like wool and stuff like this, have these on. So depending on what you're selling, then you're going to have to put that last number on end on the sign. But with this, you have to put the item ID number and then a semicolon and then the data value for that item. So for example, on this one, I'm wanting six lapis and then in return, they'll get 32 spruce spruce logs so as you see I'll uh, copy that one just to, just to show you exactly how to do it so you put the trade with brackets and then I'm wanting six lapis and then semicolon and then lapis data value is four you do not need to put all tails on that line because you're not stocking that one that's one that people are paying into so it'll automatically put the colon and then the amount at end so I'm giving 32 logs which 17 for, is the main ID for the logs and then it'll be a semicolon and because it's spruce wood the last number is one and then I'll put a colon and then the amount I'm putting into the sign so for this I'm going to put 32 so it stocks it now I'm going to click done and it's it's pretty in for me now it's took them out of the inventory and put them in but if I want to keep stocking this I can just make sure I've got the item in the inventory right click on it and put it in if for example I only add I'll do it like this if I only had three it will not take or it should not take them three because you have not got enough as you've put 32 so you're going to be filling this sign up in half stacks or depending on whatever number you put there you have to have that many in your inventory so if I get another now like this another half stack right click on it, it put them in right click on it again without them in the hand it's not going to put them in because it's not in the hand right click it again and I cannot buy from this sign no matter what only others can buy from it you can collect your your earnings from it and if you'd like I've showed you on other one if you break that sign it will then give me all my logs back so all them logs are going back into my inventory right I think that's covered I think it's covered it all um, if you have any questions please please leave a comment asking and I'll try and reply as soon as I can Alright, thanks for watching.